Okay, in the last video we were looking at uh, very simple hypothesis tests. So in this procedure, what we're going to in this video, what we're going to look at is two sample hypothesis tests. Now, just the key thing here is that well, actually this is from the last video. Sometimes it might be zero point zero two five percent. It depends on the situation. Uh, but essentially, what we're interested in here is if the p-value is less than not point not five, or actually it could also be not point not two five, which is half that value. We reject the null hypothesis. There is enough evidence to say that the null hypothesis is wrong. If the p-value is not less than 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. There is not enough evidence to say that the hypothesis test is wrong. 0.05 is commonly used in one-tail test. 0.025 is commonly used in two-tail tests. So it's just half of 0.05. Okay. Now there's a different reason for that. There's a reason for that we won't get into. So essentially what I'm going to look at here is this data set that I have here somewhere and it is called manufacturing processes. Okay. Now in this data set what we have here is a manufacturing process. Uh, we have two factories manufacturing items which should have a mean of 1001. Let's go back there actually to where I had that written down. So Consider a manufacturing process. The process is constructed in such a way that the mean measurement is 1,001, and also they should have a measurement of uh, they should have a measurement of less than, uh, or and only two percent should have a measurement less than 1,000 units, uh, units of measurement. Now, in, what we're interested in here is the different differing. You see, is see if there's any difference between factory A and factory B. So. This is all the measurements for factory A here, but if I, you know, essentially scroll down a bit further, I might see that there's a measurements for factory B also. There's actually 5,000 items in this data set. Now, so what do we do here? We are looking at carrying out a hypothesis test. So I'm going to go here. So there's two factories, uh, A and B. Okay, population measurement mean for factory. Let's just say factory A is equal to the population measurement mean for factory B. And essentially, the ultra, that's the null hypothesis. So essentially, are the measurements the same? Um, uh, is the average, are the processes set up in such a way that the mean is of uh, factory A is equal to factory B? Are they is one higher or lower than the other? Are you know? So essentially, something like that. And the alternative hypothesis is that they're not equal to each other. Okay, so. Let's just say factory, not factory, factory. Anyway, so what we're interested in here is a two sample test. So we have two samples, sample A and sample B. So what we're going to do here first off is go to stat, basic statistics, and what we're going to do down here is a two sample t test. Determine whether the mean difference between two groups. That's exactly what we need. Bang. Let's click on that there. So uh, click on this, measurements. Whoops. No, sorry, let's go back here. I don't know what happened there. Oops, measurements. Select. And sample IDs. Now, this is unusual because we have a sample number, but that's not what we mean. Essentially, what are the groupings? So, factory. Select that. Options. 95%. Hypothesized difference. Okay. So, essentially, the difference here is the sample mean. Uh, sample one mean minus sample two mean. Okay, that's what we're interested in. So it's, a, it's essentially expressed as a difference. So if two things are equal, the hypothesized difference between them is zero. Okay, the alternative hypothesis there is difference. Uh, difference is hypothesized difference. So the difference is zero. This is just a different way of uh, uh, stating it. Difference is zero, or difference is not equal to zero. Now. It's essentially equal or not equal, difference is zero, difference is not equal to zero. It's, it's actually the slightly different way of saying the exact same thing. The assume equal variance is something we'll come back to later on. We're going to assume equal variance in this case. Just, well, it's not absolutely necessary, but yes, we'll assume equal variance. Okay. Now, graphs, what we might do is here, click in some graphs, have a look at a box plot. Okay. I think that's good to go. Click OK. There we go. So we should have a box plot coming up. In a second now, and those are a box plot of factory A versus factory B, 
Um, it seems that the relative, the populations are slightly equal to, or you know, it is the, the both box plots from factory A and factory B seem pretty similar. But there's a slight, again, the slight suspicion that factory B is slightly higher in the number line, which to say it's like slightly larger value. So let's go back up here to the session pane and click on that. Just go back up here a second now. So two sample t-tests and confidence interval measurement by factory. Okay, so factory was the grouping structure, the sample ID as it was called. We have the mean and uh, for A and mean for B. Okay, and so it's uh, 1,002.6 versus 1,002.72. We have the mean and standard deviation, which seems to be quite good. Now, I'm just going to sort of spread this out a bit here. So the difference is mu, the factory A minus mu factory B, okay? If they're equal to each other, that difference is zero, okay? But it given the, it, we have an estimate from the data here of that, you know, hypothetically, if the factory, uh, if both factories are producing items the same way, there's no difference. Okay, but we actually see a slight difference between the two factories, and it is minus 0 0.1248. That means that factory B is slightly higher. Now, but remember, this is just a sample. It's just just sort of a bit of a fluke, a bit of a fluke. So what we're going to do here is look at the confidence interval. Okay, and here it says that the confidence interval, the 95% confidence interval for difference is minus 0 0.2192 to minus 0 0.0304. That means that essentially what we think the true difference is between minus 0 0.21 and minus 0 0.03. Uh, you might notice that 0 is not in that range of values. So this is a range of values, okay, a range of values. That's the upper and lower limit. So we're considering uh, any value between those two numbers. Um, you notice that 0 is actually one of the values between those two numbers, is a number in that, in, in that interval. Okay, that's important. So what we're going to do here is now look at the p-value, and the p-value here is uh, minus 0, sorry, 0 0.010. Now, that is significant, okay? It's less than our threshold of 5% or 2% even, okay? So let's go back up here. Let, uh, correctly, we're doing a two-tailed test, so that what we're interested in here is about not 0 0.025, so just put in a little 2 there, but it doesn't really matter, actually. So if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 or 0 0.025, we reject the null hypothesis. There is not enough evidence to say that the hypothesis is, uh, there's enough evidence to say that the null hypothesis is wrong. So that's what we set, ha, are saying here. The null hypothesis is wrong. That there is, the null hypothesis says they're the same. That null hypothesis is wrong. That means that there is a difference between the two, okay? And that means that factory B, essentially they're not equal to each other. Now we can sort of assume that factory B is slightly higher, okay, uh, than factory A. Is it important? You have to just judge how much that is, uh, how much of a uh, important that difference is just by sort of not using statistics, just how much the cost is. What we're going to do here is actually just sort of rerun the procedure again. So two sample t-test. We're just going to slightly change the um, alternative hypothesis. So difference is less than um, zero. Okay. Run it again. Okay. Now, difference less than zero. Remember, we're working on the basis of A minus B. Okay. So we might get a net, we could have a negative difference here. Okay. And under the null hypothesis, sorry, let's just see what the null hypothesis is. Uh, the null hypothesis, they're, they're not equal to, or they are the difference, the, the null hypothesis is that the true difference here is zero, okay? And the alternative hypothesis is that it's less than zero, okay? That means that B is higher, okay? Uh, because we're working on the A minus B, so if B is higher, that the difference is going to be less than zero as a negative number. 
Um, we reject the null hypothesis. We get a slightly different p-value here. Okay. And again, because this is a one-tailed test, we, we, we work on compare this to 0 0.05. Okay, not point. So the p-value is 0 0.005. With a one-tailed test, we're comparing it to um, 0 0.05. Remember, there's just uh, there's a zero after the decimal place here. Okay, there is two zeros after the decimal place there. That is means that they are different numbers. Just watch out for that. Loads of people make that mistake. And that means that we reject the null hypothesis again, that they're not equal to each other. In fact, B is slightly higher. Okay. Right.